Hey everybody, it's time once again for The Myth Wits, uh, the show dedicated to all things geek pop culture, drenched in absurdity and coated with sarcasm. Every week we bring on an industry guest, or two in this case, uh, to talk about the ever-expanding Geekoverse. We'll do our damnedest to be funny, but there are no guarantees, considering my guests, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm your host, Peter Bryant, uh, and joining me on this episode is my co-host, Mike Kafis. Where's chickens? <laughs> Chickens, nice. That's a callback. Uh, <laughs> and on this episode, we are talking with Stephen Wallet. What's up, guys? Doctor and Spence. Hi. You know, so, I'm still here. Yep, <laughs> and both are returning. You've seen them before. You know who they are. Uh, Steve Wallet is a producer, director, author, and owner of Nerd Rage News. He recently directed Word from a Gamer, a documentary about tabletop games. They went on a lot of awards, Steve. Uh, his show, Behind the Curtain, interviews celebrities and explores the real people behind the scenes. Plus, he does all kinds of stuff, producing movies and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Spence is a podcaster, voice actor, and audio engineer. She is a co-host on TSR's excellent show, Game School. Game School! Look at that <laughs> yeah. shirt! She hosts yeah. her own show, Cold Reads. You still doing that, Laura? No, I'm actually not doing Cold Reads, but I am doing uh, Nostalgia Pilots, um, which is a fan cast of uh, the Mobile Suit Gundam Wing uh, series. Okay, cool, cool. And she has done voice acting on a number of titles. Uh, everybody, welcome to the show. We're talking about TotalCon 33, and it's our TotalCon report. Yeah, yeah, TotalCon. So we were all there. Every we month. were? Yes. You were. Oh. I have video evidence of you being there. <laughs> That's right. That's and right. There a, lot of, a lot of people in the room that were there. Uh, well, several yeah. people. David. David. Talk to everybody. Patron. Uh, is there. How you doing? Mm -hmm. John Ryer. Neither one of those two were there, by the way. Uh, Jenny Lynn, who was not there. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> Tori, she was there. Okay, anyway. That's, that's enough of that. Um, <laughs> Paul so, should have been there. So let, let's start, as we always do, on, uh, on the journey there, because you know, every story starts at the beginning. Uh, and I, I want to report, Mike, no issues there, right? No issues going on. Oh, there. my God. Like, it was scary. There was not a hiccup, not a burp, not even a shark kept us. Like, we had smooth sailing all the way there. There was nothing, no problems the night before. It, it, it there was uh, it, it was a little scary. We but, didn't get uh, a we butt crack it. early. Nothing. We no. we left like eh, believe it like seven ish. Seven, seven fifteen. <laughs> Got to drop the dog off. <laughs> Stop to get a cup of coffee. Right. Uh, hey, how's how's my uh, how's my uh, 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 easy pass doing there? I'm uh, I, I kind of miss it. <laughs> yeah, well, really we should have left it behind. Pass. Hey, yeah, it wouldn't be Mike if he didn't leave something behind. No, totally, dude, totally. <laughs> right. All right, so so Steve, how was your drive up? I think you said you left at like uh, the middle of three the... of the clock morning. Yeah, I left at three in the morning, and there was virtually no traffic. I was there in six hours. I think yeah, it's so the are we. I've ever made it. So I know it was we. awesome. This year was great. Even the drive home was like that. Well, well, well. Well, well. <laughs> and we haven't got there yet. So Spence, how was your how was your haul up to the con? Uh, I had the least amount of driving, uh, which was nice. So I got to like stop off in Malden and have lunch with a friend of mine. Uh, I left the house at, like eleven, and I got there no later than I think two thirty. I got there right after you guys. Yeah. And told, yeah. and told the concierge not to check you in. <laughs> oh, did you? Oh, God. Yeah. 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 How'd that um, work out for you? Uh, it didn't, but that's okay. No. You got to pay them the next time. Yeah. So I did with my card. <laughs> so let, let's just get the, the elephant out of the room because I'm sure that Mike and I are the only ones that have a story about going home. It wasn't too bad. I mean, we got 99% of the way home, no sweat. Easy oh, yeah. easy. Oh, my God. Easy. Again, it was like. Alien. Smooth right and then about 10 miles north of my stop ooh, to a dead miles. stop miles like i think i could have walked the rest of the way and gotten to your house faster oh yeah yeah and we yeah. could see right around the bend so so you, where we were stopped nothing but red lights and everything right and the and the 95 goes around the bend and just ooh. over the bend you could see smoke pouring up over 
right? Yeah. And then all these numb nuts trying to get into the, uh, the the emergency lanes, and then emergency cars coming up. Apparently, I don't think they blocked any of the emergency vehicles, which was interesting because the cars are going on both sides at different times. But um, at any rate, basically, it's boiled down to because I don't waste too much time on this. It was a barbecue. Mike and I sat there for an hour and a half. Uh, fortunately, Mike discovered about forty five minutes in that he had. <laughs> Rick and yeah, Morty I, on his I, phone. Rick and Morty on my phone. I had downloaded some episodes. <laughs> like, oh, we got to watch it. So we passed the last like uh, 45 minutes or so with uh, with some fun. So I hope yeah. you're I hope I can get you into that because Rick and Morty is just so goddamn good. Yeah, I've, I've been watching it. So oh, I'm not nice. I got I got to get further in because I'm like six episodes in and it's not like hammering me into the episode, the, the show yet. I like it, but it's not. Wait, like, wait, wait, wait. The okay. sixth episode. You so you got to the point where they had to where they've switched worlds. Uh, I, the, no, no, I've gotten to where they meet Meeple Meeplex or whatever the Mister oh, Meeplex. Mister Meeplex. Meeplex. That's it. Yeah, I've gotten to that episode. Oh wee! Yeah. So I'm anyway, Mister Meeplex. <laughs> right. Um, that was a pretty good episode. I liked it. Yeah, hey. my only exposure is the game that we played and the character that Mike was playing. Yeah, we'll get to that. Oh, that, that's coming. Oh, jeez, that's coming. All right. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm guessing Spence, you and Steve, no problems driving home. Uh, inaccurate, because I drove home in the rain. Did you? And uh, there were there were a few spinouts ahead of me. Okay. Uh, it was not it was not fun. Uh, so I white knuckled it most of the way home. Also, was hungover, and Concred was already starting to sit in. Ooh, that's not good. Yeah. What about you, Steve? For me, it was a smooth ride all the way, but I was sick as a dog and wanted to die. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you were. You were looking rough at the con. Oh, I, was, I was feeling bad. So I, we had a lot to cover, but I just want to say, Steve always just shows up at the con with somebody, something, some, you know, and, and so we get there and, you know, what, what, what is Steve's just walking around and he's got this la- you know, lovely lady with him and, and we're just like, who oh, the what is this? And he's like, oh, that's, that's a lawyer from Russia. And uh, what was her name? Because I... Tatiana. Tatiana. Because you of were course it kind was. of missing an act. You were missing an action a lot <laughs> a lot of the cons. We didn't get to hang out as much as we'd like to. But yeah, so he's like, oh, doing business in uh, Russia. Going to need some representation. Ugh. Oh, my God. Living the dream. But... Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool, man. I mean, the movie's doing well over there, so why not get my books over there, too? She's getting my books translated. I mean, it's just awesome. That's nice. awesome, right? So you're colluding, then? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> nice. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh right. Nice. Excellent. All right, so so let's let's go over real quick uh, some of the people that we saw there, Mike. Uh, so we saw so Mike Pondsmith, he came back this year, which was awesome. Yes. And Cody Pondsmith, Mike and Cody came, and they were great. We got to hang out with them a little bit here and there. Um, Mike is always as generous with his uh, with his with his hellos as ever. Mm-hmm. Give me a big old bear hug. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was really cool. Of course, our buddy Jay Libby's there. All you know, our friends and stuff. I'm not going to talk about the TSR crew because we're going to get into them anyway. But they were uh, there. <laughs> but they were there. They were there. But we'll talk about all of them in, in just a few minutes. But yeah, Jay Libby, Jeff Tulane, and got to speak with him for a little bit. I always love yeah. him, Jeff. Mm-hmm. Uh, he missed the industry party, which sucks because he apparently he fell asleep. He's like, I'm uh. so lame. I fell asleep. Well, he was at his booth like most of the time, and when he wasn't at his booth, he was running games. So. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's an excuse, and I did make it over there to see him too. So yeah, and that—that's his. You know, that's that's what he does for a living. Not a whole lot of mm-hmm. game designers can say that, but when he comes, he comes to play. Like he comes to to work and play. Well, play is work for him. Does he does he run um, swords and sorcerers of Hyperborea? Oh yeah, that's all he does. That's his thing. Okay. Well, I mean, he's sitting at his booth, and I, I didn't know right. when I ever had time to run games. Okay. That's and that's what he does. He sits at his booth and he runs game. He runs his game. Okay. He's, you know, he's, that's what he, that's his living, man. It's, and yeah. conventions are where he makes a good chunk of his money. Oh, yeah. Apparently, mm-hmm. as I understand it. Oh, by the way, uh, Michael Thompson, which, who was there at Total Con, I like Michael. Uh, he loves Cuba Death. I'm sorry, Michael, I didn't get to play Cuba Death with you. I owe you one. I really, I'm sorry. I, I owe you one. Uh, maybe we'll do like a Hangouts or something. That'd be kind of fun. Um, but he said, Steve, he says, dig in your documentary still. Very cool. Awesome. Yeah, I was supposed to run into him there. I, I bumped into him when he was checking in and never got a chance to really sit down and have a drink. I was a little you know, bummed out. 
That's what I measure. I measure a good con. You could tell a con is really good when you're like, God, I missed this, and I didn't get to talk to this person. Mm -hmm. If there's all this shit that you did not get to do or people you did not get to talk to, but you still had a good time, awesome con. Like, it's just too much good shit to do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think my dad was trying to share the live video, and uh, and he's like, if you're not watching Mythwitch, what, Mythwits, what the hell is running your life? Yes. And I love you, Dad. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. We've missed you, buddy. We we've missed you in gracing our the chat room with your presence. So welcome Big, back. Big Papa Spence. That's right. Oh. And Scott Legault of Dark Phoenix says, uh, and of course all the Dark Phoenix crew, da Scott says uh, Dark Phoenix had about six people who got whacked hard with the with the with yeah. the um, crud. Um, so wow. yeah, it went it went through uh, went through there like uh, Grant went through Richmond. Fortunately, I for me, fortunately for me, I didn't get anything. Nothing. Kim way scot free. Hey, you lucky bastard. Yep. I brought it back and gave it to my wife, and she's laying in bed right now with a hundred and two fever. Ooh, uh, nice. Wow. Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. Welcome home, buddy. Welcome and you know home. what? You know what's funny? I did not avoid people or anything. I was just like, fuck it. Yeah. I'm either going to get it or I'm not. It's yeah. going to be on the yeah. tables, the handles, whatever. I'm going to get it. I, I'm not even going to worry about it. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. well, whatever. It's probably something I had last time I went to a con. Probably what I got when I went to Gen Con. Probably that coming back around or something. Oh, God. That was bad. That was <laughs> real bad. I was fucked up. All right. So, anyway. <laughs> So we we did some special stuff, and Steve and Spence, I'm gonna get to you. I'm gonna, I got a section carved out for you guys to talk about your oh, yeah, stuff. Oh sure. yeah, so, Okay, uh, like your stuff in particular, but I know you you played uh, you had some funny games with us. Whatever. So did... Talk about the fun stuff first. And, and, <laughs> we're, all, and we're, we're already 15 minutes in. I'm just saying yeah. this. So let's, right, right. That's what I'm saying. Food. I'm like da, 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 yeah, da. Yeah, yeah. All right. So so Lucid Dreams. We did a special. Or Andre Krupa, who does this yeah. fantastic room. He does this setup. He's got lights and sounds. He's been on our show before. Go back. Uh, we've got two episodes with with Andre. I think he was yes. like one of our first guests in season one, where he talked mm -hmm. about how he does his setup. Uh, but he ran a Lucid Dreams event for us. It was really, really cool. Lights yeah. and the sounds and the point and of we over sec second guest of season two. Yes. So we we recorded we recorded that event. Multiple cameras. Uh, I mic'd up everybody. Everybody had uh, had the lapel mics on. Um, so I'm hoping it sounds really good. Uh, Spence, I do have those up on the drive. I got to share them with you. Um, <laughs> For the for the podcast. after the show after the show yeah, yeah. but it's gonna be it's, it, it's gonna be a, a game school uh, game school episode and and Spence I think we call it let's call it after school special what do you think um I was gonna call it expulsion oh we could do that we could do all right um, expulsion it is it's, yeah yeah well we, yeah definitely the uh, the uh, what was that the game we played the uh, uh, fiasco. Fiasco is definitely an expulsion. Movie. No, no, no. That's a Mythwits episode. That's that was for Mythwits. That's a little, that one was a little too rough for game school. That's that's yeah. a us. That's a us thing. We, we can take that hit. Um, good, but yes, good. So, I'm glad we could take that to the nuts. Sure. We um. So Spence played. Uh, Spence, me, Steve, Mary, James. Uh, we all played in that. Mike was the engineer on that. Poor Mike, man. You got uh he was going through all kinds of fatigue oh, after that. Three hours of just sound and video. Switch, 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 <laughs> switch, 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 switch. But it was it was an experiment. Um, we were trying to do. We we're trying to figure out how we could do like a three camera shot, and basically we ran uh, webcams, three webcams mm -hmm. from the same computer, and Mike could just switch between the cameras to um to get different like viewpoints so there's one camera on andre who was the game master and then one camera face on one side of the table one camera face on the other side of the table so when somebody would talk mike would switch to that person so trying to see what that looks like you know because like, when you watch a, a professionally done thing they have different cameras not just one big mm -hmm. camera trying to capture the whole thing so we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes it, it should be good um and then i don't know what you think of that game steve i enjoyed it a lot except for the fact i got gummed by a toad you, didn't, oh, you were the only one that died. I was so happy. She I was. swear, so happy. I, I think Andre should, because most people die in his adventures, don't yes. they? Yes. So and he said, he said that he, most people die in that adventure. Most people don't make it. Mm -hmm. Hey, we had a good fighting strategy. We did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As a matter of fact, he that... said, he said that was that was what did it. He said, he said he was really surprised. He was like it was a really good strategy. 
yep, but, um, that's but that's called study I, in history. I don't <laughs> yeah. even I don't even remember what the uh, what the strategy was, but um, I was just really glad that the person who kept trying to kill my hunting dogs died. Yes, uh, <laughs> Steve kept trying to eat her hunting dogs. <laughs> I love you, Steve. <laughs> hey, those dogs were annoying as shit. Yeah, the sound effect was annoying as shit. <laughs> yeah. No, that was that, yeah. that and the howling from the yes. mysterious creature that we were hunting. But that was um, really cool. So Andre would play that howling yeah. sound, and like the hairs on your <laughs> neck would stand up. I mean, really you get oh, immersion. Oh, it was bad. Yeah, yeah like, Spence I, almost jumped out of her chair. For I those. did. I did. Like, <laughs> there is video of me like jumping whenever the freaking sound effect went off, and uh. Uh, I think I had nightmares about it. <laughs> nice. So, mm. all right. So then we, we played a game of Fiasco, and that was run for us by Dark Phoenix. They were very, uh, uh, very generous. And came Our GM and is in the room. Yeah. Yes, she yes. is. Yes. Patreon, was... you were awesome. That was so oh. fun. And we so recorded exciting. that for the Mythwits. So that that will be a, a Mythwits podcast only episode. We'll put it in the podcast at some point, like when we have uh, an empty spot, Mike, I think, when we have like yes. something I, when we don't have a show. Um, I mean, yeah, it was it was dirty. It was really nasty. It got I mean, yeah. It, it was <laughs> you know, it's super like the, not safe for work. It's like the kind of nasty <laughs> that usually you would say, we shouldn't record this because it doesn't belong outside of this room out of context and yet look at us we i mean we it's, recorded it it's like it's game of thrones type nasty but was, it's dude. set in set in an archer universe well, yeah, it was kind of like oh i don't know archer type nasty yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> our fans hey our fans could take it our, our fans are champs i hope I'm talking so. to you oh my God. talking to you fans you're champs I hope so. <laughs> dad oh do not Dad, do not listen to that episode. Oh, yeah. Do not listen to that episode, oh, Father. Daddy, Spence, I mean, Please. I don't care how old your daughter gets. You do not want to. No, no, you really, you really. When, no. when uh. everybody is trying <laughs> to bed either Mike's character or my character or Pete's <laughs> character. Or no, murder Pete's character. Yeah, then um, nobody tried to bed my character. They just wanted to kill me. <laughs> Yeah, at least my character was like, you know, at least you're, you were a female, and there were other well consenting males and females. I was, uh, I was Morty. Let's just say that I was Morty. So, <laughs> essentially, I'm an underage uh, child uh, prostitute. So, um, yeah. Moving on. Anyway, uh, on. <laughs> so then we did. So then we did, and that was really great, man. And, and it was and so Patreon, good. Patrick did you. an amazing job. Fantastic. Your dad is laughing his ass off. I right. know, so so Zandy. <laughs> and I had the rare I had the rare pleasure of playing a game with Steve Parento because usually you know I never get mm -hmm. to do like get to play anything oh. with him, and yeah. uh, he joined us. It was good. It was really good. Yeah, yo, Eddie, put the hammer down on you, boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no yeah. Alcohol but on the David, floor. David oh, ben Benavides was also on the table. Um. That's right, David. He's got that was the name there. I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. All right. Was... So, so then, uh, uh, David. Speaking of David Benavides, he ran a D and D five E event for. I mean, essentially for me, but you know, everybody, whoever was welcome. But um, I had never played five E, and I really yeah. wanted to play yeah. it. And I was talking me to either. him. And he, yeah. Well, Mike. Okay. And he First said time. that. He said that. Uh, he's like, oh, I'll run a game for you guys. I was like, sweet, let's do it. Now we didn't record that. Which I really wish we'd have recorded that one. I really do. Just to capture James's drow elf. He was just oh, creeping us out. We got to get a copy of that. We got to. He said he was going to record us that. I want to put it in the soundboard. Get him to put it in the soundboard, and uh, so I can play it from time to time. Yes, yes, boy. <laughs> Right. I don't even want to do it. No, he had it. it that's it, it was just it was creepy. creepy justice, Mike. Oh, oh, that voice. Yeah, the yes. trial elf. Oh just, god. Yeah, it was it was very like that. That yeah. made my hair stand up out of any other game I've been in. It was that that made my hair stand up. And the, the funny thing about it was is that it didn't matter where you were sitting at the table. It was something about the way he did it. It sounded like he was sitting right next to you, talking into your yeah. ear. Yes. Mm -hmm. It was just, it was yeah. like supernatural. Like, I was in the other room and I would hear, like, oh, stop. <laughs> Come in here, so, 
<laughs> I, I had that voice in my ear at the industry party nice. because he was giving an example. <laughs> That's awesome. and, and, then, and then real quick, Pete and I are laughing. We literally almost went off the road laughing because Lucy in the Sky <laughs> with Diamonds came on as we were just driving home. We were playing some Beatles and all of a sudden it was just mixing that drow elf voice with picture yourself on a boy. <laughs> now i never hear the song differently anyway so so that that was a fun game and i'd like to thank david david will watch this at some point i don't know if he's in the room or no, no he's, he's, in, he's the room. in the chat right now yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah fantastic thank you david uh it was a great game um, <laughs> he said he's getting chills oh billy bob <laughs> is uh, is never forgotten um so then, so that was it for our special events, and I don't want to talk about the TSR room just yet. I'd like to give our guests a chance to talk about their stuff. So, how about um, blah, 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 we'll start do with Spence, sp ladies, yeah. ladies, first. do Spence first. Sure. Uh, so what I did was a friend of Game School, friend of Mythlet, uh, um, Gareth Graham. He gave me permission to do uh, and uh, to run uh, Children of the Fall. So I did. And that was very intimidating, but at the same time, uh, kind of awesome because my table was supposed to be full and then only three people showed up and I was like, great, less pressure. And we ran a really fun pe game. People were really digging uh, spending story points to add complications to, uh, to, to other people's scenarios and everybody having a turn at being GM. Uh, so it was really well received. I had the stuff to do a second game, but uh, didn't have the time. So, yeah, you know, uh, I look forward to doing it again because well, that's a game I really enjoy. That was, and that was your first time running a game at a convention, right? Uh, it was my second time running a game second, at a convention. Okay. Um, I ran Urban Shadows at Jiffy Con last, no, the year before last. Okay. All right, so. Fantastic, and um, and it seemed like when I came by, it's they they said they loved it. They said it was a really great. Oh game. yeah, they were they were getting into it. They were all spending story points all over the place, and like just really uh, building on each other's uh, traumas because we kept failing roles, and oh, uh, uh, so like my trauma as a maker was that one of my inventions uh, broke, and so the person who had that invention it broke right when he had a trauma so he lost an eye because of it and it was really cool how it all kind of played together fantastic all right and then um so uh what else uh, spence you do any is there any other kind of events that you um, either participated in or ran or anything that you want to talk about outside of the tsr events no because i was working on the podcast in my room <laughs> nice uh yeah, and we don't we don't want to talk about how much scotch I had. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I, I, the only other thing I want to say is that we uh, all had the pleasure of meeting Andy, and that she is awesome, and we appreciate um, having her now as welcomed as part of the group. So, welcome, Andy. We love you. Yes, love you, Andy. <laughs> She's in all the right, chat room, so I'm excited. Yes, yeah. that's cool, Steve. Tell yeah. me about, like you had a different experience there because you you had a vendor table and everything. So tell me about your time at the uh, at TotalCon. Well, this year was different than my normal year of gaming. The entire time I was there, I was working for half of it. Uh, but it was really cool because I got to meet so many people that were not part of our normal group there. So I, I had a great time. I really did. I sold a boatload of books and sweatshirts and T-shirts and you know, mainly meeting all the new people was just. It was phenomenal. I also got exposed to a lot of new games this year that I hadn't seen in past years. Tell me one that stands out. What's what's a game that you saw that you that you that that stands out? Oh God! Now you put me on the spot, the and spot. I can't think yeah. of the name of it. Well, <laughs> well, you're about, and your whole brain just froze. If yeah, you're thinking about something, let me just. It, it was a game yeah. based on Hello Kitty. Oh, okay. I, I can't remember what the name of it was. <laughs> okay. I actually won a uh, Hello Kitty, like a three foot tall Hello Kitty I came home with. <laughs> wow. <laughs> bringing, bringing chicks home from the con. So I That's was, Steve. I was, uh, I was a little, I was a little surprised that you, your movie didn't show that you didn't, that you didn't have a, a movie showing or, or anything. Cause I know we shot the one and I thought we would, we would see it, but uh, I think it was, it was probably hard to schedule with, um, with the, the other groups that are there showing stuff. Right. Uh, actually, I didn't even try to schedule it because I thought we were going to uh, 
do it before David or after David Benavides game. I was going to bring it with the projector, but I was so sick. I missed the game. Oh, right. That's right. You it, were supposed to be part of that game. Yeah. It sucks. Eh, that's all right. <laughs> well, um, but there's next year. Let me, and you let can me watch just, it on Amazon Prime. That is true. So let me, let me just point out real quick that uh, Steve challenged uh, Tori and her friend. Oh, Tori, what's your friend's name? Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm blanking all of a sudden. Not there's a not Kristen, uh, something. Her name that I apologize. But you two, he Steve challenged you to to build what three levels of a pyramid? Just build these cards of three levels, and they totally pwned you. They built the they used every card and <laughs> built the, the the pyramid entirely up as high as it could go. What was it like eight or nine levels? We had a we have a picture of it. It's so if you can check our Instagram, um, Mythwit's Instagram. Uh, so they I made it there. They made six levels, and what they were doing is, years ago when I did Blasphemous Cocktails, I had these little uh, hexagon coasters made, and they built the uh, building out of the coasters, and I told them if they could make three levels, I'd give them a free prize, and for every level beyond that, they'd get something else, and yeah, they did phenomenal. Do, do were, you mean these coasters? Those coasters, yeah. that's them. Ta-da! Okay. And that would be Cindy. That would be Tori and Cindy, her best friend. Sorry. Sorry, Cindy. And they I showed up you. as they were representing for Skatori. Skatori, represent. And uh, so they so had a great one, time. One thing, I, I, I managed to get another, yet another copy of Feudal, because a couple years ago I bought this at the flea market thing, at the Gamers Flea Market, and uh, then left it at the hotel, in the hotel room, and it was gone. Uh, which is a shame because this game is a collector's eye. It's old. It's you can't even buy. You can't buy it anywhere anymore, um, unless you like get it as a vintage thing. But I finally got a copy of it. And Steve, we're gonna play this. We're gonna play it. Absolutely. We have to. Um, and I will try not to spill any booze on it. Oh, uh, well, it's all plastic. I don't think you, I don't think you can hurt the actual pieces themselves. Um, but anyway, all right. So let's let's move on to so TSR room. So we actually crushed it when it came to the TSR room. Um, I had for the past year or so, I kept seeing, thinking about like when I look at conventions and I see pictures of people sitting at conventions. Um, playing games at the tables, I'm always like, God, you know, every table looks the same. It always looks the same. It's a white tablecloth, character sheets, dice, and people sitting around it. But you almost can't tell one group of players from another um, unless you, I mean, unless you obviously, obviously, if you know them. So I was like, what can I do to make our tables look different, make our room like stand out? So I bought, I got, I contacted Angelia, asked her how big the tables were, and she told me they're five foot rounds. And I bought tablecloths, black tablecloths for all the tables. So as soon as we got there, we pulled the white tablecloths off, put black tablecloths down, and then I had red runners with graphics on them on every table. So the whole room was like you know this black and red and, and kind of whitish themed uh, image. And you pr you've probably seen some of these up in the the scrolling images. Yeah. Okay. Uh, on the you side. Yep. Yep. And um, it it was it looked really good. And and uh, everybody seemed everybody said they were like. Uh, they were like best in show, <laughs> so um, so that was that was really good. Oh, you know what? I everybody is still saying that they looked very professional <laughs> and looked awesome. Yes, so it yeah, it's almost like uh, some things we did even outclassed uh, a certain other next door neighbor that we had that were always <laughs> kind of in a little bit of uh, you know uh, friendly competition. competition. Yeah. Yes. Who, are so awesome these people i don't know i can't even remember you know me i'm so bad with names but these people are totally hooked uh <laughs> what's his name up uh james. Hooks J james up with a shirt because it the was so nice dark phoenix you guys gave him a shirt which you know initially we were just like so happy and then of course pete and i are like what, what the fuck i mean you know we're we're nothing we're we don't deserve shirts it's all it's all good no, but you know we were we were happy we were happy for him we were happy uh, for James. Yeah, we're happy yes, for James. We we're happy for James. <laughs> James deserved it. Was, it was his moment to shine. So now, no. James is the one that James is the one that had brought up this whole rivalry thing because it was funny because I forget it was it was a year or two ago. James is like, oh man, Dark Phoenix. They did they're they're putting up graphics on Total Con's website. Yeah. You you got to put together something, man, because they're they're outdoing us. <laughs> Look at their room. Remember the first year it was like they have these. They have uh, uh, banners, and right. we don't have banners. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. Oh, so Dark Phoenix. All right. Oh, right. 
Ben School had our awesome shirts. So yes, um, yes, we yeah, did. Yes, look at my shirt. And then look at my shirt. Yeah. I'm very happy with that. Those are nice yep. shirts you have. And we, yeah. So me, James. <laughs> what? Here you go. Here you go. Me, James, and Spence each had our own. So, yep. uh, and it was really good. So we did the, so that we'll, we'll go into that right now. So we did a live recording of top secret new world order as our game school episode. Um, yep. and it was, that went really, really well. Although Spence, you're going to have, there's, we'll have to talk offline, but there's a tiny little chunk of that. I think you should probably cut out if you know what That's I mean. Fine. Yeah, yeah, and uh, and that's one of my favorite, not favorite, but it's one of the things that the reasons they keep me around uh, is because I do uh, the context editing. Yes, there was <laughs> there was a spot that went a little not off it was okay topic. but it's yeah a little off yeah so i'd like to cut that out if that's okay <laughs> that's that's fine <laughs> essentially essentially what i do is i try to make the episodes concise keep them on topic and uh keep people from rambling yeah, um yeah. And, and, and there may have been yeah. a little bit of rambling in other languages yes. you know and this is this is a thing that happens so so that went really well. We recorded that. Yeah. Um, I, I got a, a pre-look at the video. That seemed to be pretty good. Uh, it, we're going to see how well the audio matches up with it. It should be fine. I just Sometimes I worry that if, you, if you're recording on one medium and then you're recording video on another medium, even though they should sync up perfectly because like, there's no reason why they shouldn't, there's the magic of technology that, fuck, you got to do some magic and get the audio to sync with the video mm -hmm. and the whatever. I do want to say I loved that Mike was like, don't hit the table. And I'm like, Mike, we have lapels. Yeah. <laughs> it's not going to matter this time. You got, you got labs. It's okay. But you can hit the table. I loved, I loved that you uh, that you remembered that. No, so it was you. also, there were some people that were doing this, though. You know, like they had their lapels on and they're going, bup, 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 bup. I'm like, ah, stop. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm right. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> So, so that that went really well. That was good. So, so we had uh, we actually had uh, Steve Parento ran the game, which was great of him to do that. And it was actually, you know, he was super happy to do that. So, and I got a message from him later on. He was he thanked us for letting him do that because it was, you know, he he loves Merlin Allen. He loves the whole top secret thing. Top secret was one of his joints. So it was a real honor for him to get a chance to, to DM the administrator himself. And uh, I was I I'm so happy that I got to be able to 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 give him that opportunity. Um, and then, you know, of course, Merle and Alan uh, and James and Jason and Spence all played in it. It was it was a really good adventure. And it was it was just I think um, being that, you know, game school is a TSR product, having TSR's premier product and it being a fantastic show is just it's perfect. You yeah. keep saying that, and then it makes me all intimidated about what I'm supposed to be doing on this show. And I'm like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Nobody does. Keep doing none it. Of us, keep doing none it. None of us do. Yeah. Just yeah. keep doing that. You're good. Do a good job. So. <laughs> okay. So I'll, Michael, I'll keep doing the thing. Michael Thompson said that uh, his boss brought his uh, son to, uh, I think, uh, I don't know, Mr. Someone's top secret game and said it was one Merle's. of the best things. Merle. That's, that's supposed Merle. to be an L. It's right so next one, of his, one of the best <laughs> things he ever saw uh, experience. That was, that was cool. Yep. Cool. So, so then um, also in the room, so we, we've had the room packed all weekend. Um, we also ran a special top secret afternoon. So Saturday afternoon from one to five, we had nothing but top secret games in the room. So five, five tables, all playing top secret. And it was all flavors of top secret. So there was um, top secret New World Order. There was two tables of top secret SI. There was a top secret original, the original game, done by the Dead Game Society, which was perfect. Uh, and then, oh yeah, and then another New World Order. So two New World Orders, two SIs, and one original. And that was really cool. Everybody loved that. There was uh, one guy was talking to me. He's like, he's like, oh my god, this is so epic. Every t every <laughs> top secret version being played in the room at the same time. Uh, so that that was really good. Um, at the same damn time. That's at the same time. Uh, I ran a version, I ran a demo version of the hunt that went really well. Um, you know, it, it was, we played some stuff out. Steve gave me some notes on, on some improvements that, um, that he thought I could make. And, and I agree. Um, and you know, I've even thought of some more improvements since then. So, uh, the hunt was, even if I don't do those, the, the changes that we made already are really, really good. But um, if anyone out there hasn't, in. 
if anyone hasn't played the hunt, uh, you're missing out on something good. And if, uh, hopefully we're going to turn it into something like a new version of it that everyone's going to want because yeah. it's a, uh, it's a fun game. It is a very fun game. And it, I'm kind of <laughs> disappointed. Like meat shield made a by proxy kind of, you know, he sort of as sent a representative, but he you know didn't. What? That wasn't his fault. Corey Jr. Corey Jr. That little punk. That punk. He like cheated Steve out of out of his glory. Yeah, mm -hmm. he got bored with the game and he committed suicide in a way to make sure I died. Little mm -hmm. bastard. Mm. <laughs> yeah, a little cheap. A little cheap. Well, speaking yeah, yeah. of uh, play testing, I did forget that I did play test a game. Uh, okay. I play tested uh, James's. Um, uh, it was like a uh, Charlie's Angels meets Quentin Tarantino's uh, Roadhouse or something. Oh, like that. was this Grindhouse Ooh. game? Yeah, uh, Grindhouse game. Yeah, right. that. And uh, that was interesting. I was the only, it, considering that it was all it was supposed to be all female PCs. Um, I was the only girl at the table. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but uh, but it was totally exactly as it. Uh, as it was advertised and then there were points of it where everybody sat down and was like okay this doesn't make sense and J james was taking notes as we figured out how uh various things would work and i thought that was really cool um uh, because i'd never been part of a, a a test game like that yeah they're they're really good to run at cons um we did uh, we did something like that at, at a con called Metatopia, which was good. And, and Spence, I know mm -hmm. you want to go there sometime. Met Metatopia yeah. was pretty cool, like that. It, it was not. It's nothing but that. That's all you do is you go and you play other people's demos or you run demos, um, and then you get feedback. It's it's actually really cool. All right, so uh, the hunt went over well. Um, da, 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 let's see what else. Uh, games going up. Okay, so I've hit all those, Mike. Um, all right. Uh, any last minute or any other? stories that either um um spence or steve I got, wanna i got one i got one we went to breakfast at um what was the name of that breakfast place some somebody Jake, Diner. Jake, Jake's, Jake's Diner. it was really good the food was really good but i gotta tell you sunday morning when um you guys <laughs> are trying to get me up at 9 a.m and <laughs> i was really way hung over and, Listen, uh, you agreed to that, I so know. I have no sympathy but, for you. But hold on, wait, wait. I'll tell you what I told them that morning. I was drunk. Why would you listen to me? I was, <laughs> I, because I even said, we all I remember, were. I remember, <laughs> Mike, because I was like, I didn't say that. I did not say that. And Mike goes, oh, yeah, how about the first $50 is on me? I was like, oh, wait a minute. I might have said that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then, it then it clicked. I was like, oh, shit, I did say that. And guess what? I take it back. I was drunk. You can't listen to me. <laughs> and then you were setting your alarm for like 830. And I'm like, oh, I was no, sitting time. what time, what time you setting your alarm? Thing. Oh, oh 830. Eight what? What are you, crazy? It's Sunday morning. We're drunk as shit. And we gotta get up, buddy. It's we three o'clock in the up. morning when we're right. going to bed. Did I say that? Yeah, I might have said that. I say dumb stuff when I'm drunk. It's just <laughs> yeah. don't we all? <laughs> and, and I gotta tell you, I don't even know how I got that drunk. I mean, I know you drink alcohol, you get that drunk, but I, I know. cannot put my finger on what it was that got me that drunk. Oh, you I put your know. fingers all over it. All I know. That. There now, was that Scrapple oh, vodka. Oh, and then, then <laughs> there was no. James and Mary cleaning out their cooler. Okay. And there were lots of bottles that were not quite half full. And most of them were gone by the end of the night. I only, claim, I only laid claim to two. And I you guys think... didn't save me any Scrapple bottle vodka. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Because yeah, you weren't around, and I was, I was giving it out uh, every night. I was like passing it around to people, and um, anyway, I got to drink three uh, and you know what? out of the bottle. Us, us getting locked out of our room that night, the night of the party, meant that I have my full bottle of D and B left. <laughs> Thank nice. you for sharing that with me, by the way. That was oh, yeah. just... good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. No, I think you know what I think. I think it was Ben Gerber. The stuff that Ben Gerber brought because he brought in these Maybe. these beers, but they were like. 10 or 12 percent 
or something. And I was drinking, I was drinking that and I was like, man, it's going down really smooth. <laughs> I didn't realize they were like triple Baki thingies or whatever. I don't know. It was good though. It was good. Thanks, Ben. I appreciate it. <laughs> My hangover. <laughs> thanks you. Um, so anyway, it was a good time. Real, really good time. And, uh, I now, think the industry party worked out. Yeah. Speaking of, speaking of booze, what the hell was up with the bar this year? Why? What happened? I didn't get to the bar at all. The bartender didn't even know how to make a um, a uh, Irish coffee. Didn't know how what? to make a hot toddy. I went down for hot toddies. I had to teach him how to make a hot toddy. Oh <laughs> no, that's not right. I'm oh, serious. No. What the hell? Hold well, on, hold on. Everyone, stop, stop the show. We are joined by royalty. Who's that? Joining us in the chat room right <gasps> now, Angelia Parento. Angelia. Angelia. <laughs> so yeah, so we this love is you. Steve and Angelia. This is their convention, and they do a hell of a job. Hell right. of a job. Oh, sh you don't see me. <clears throat> no, no, I'm so, sorry. Must have been mistaken. I don't it's, know who that it's that uh, that that artist that was formerly known as Angelia. Angel, right, yeah. uh, <laughs> so, you know, so, if so she we, were um, here. <laughs> so we're working on a deal. Our, our, we're trying. There's no. This is no confirmation whatsoever. It's 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 in the works. We'll see if we can make it happen. But it is realistic. Uh, we, we, it could could be pulled off next year. The industry party. We're gonna try and get it down in the bar area. So at eleven o'clock, when they close the restaurant bar, we're gonna try and get them to keep it open um, and work a deal with well, the so bar. So that there. we can teach them how to make the drinks that we want. Well, so, whatever, dude. Dude, it's better than a room. It's better than like a a you know a green yeah. room that you got to move everything around. People can buy their own. We don't have to serve alcohol. People can just buy their own drinks. It'll it. Trust me. And we'll get them. We'll get. We also have uh, access to hors d'oeuvres and stuff too. So if people Ooh. get hungry, they can order like cheese sticks and nachos, and maybe we'll buy a couple of first rounds and set them out on the tables or something. I That'll like, be cool. I like food. Yeah, yeah. So, I, so anyway, I did like trying what other people were bringing, though. Yeah, it was. That's a fun part, though. We'll, we'll talk about it. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll work it thing. out. We'll work it Six out. Six and anyway. a half, one dozen. You know. <laughs> so, so you have. You know, if you Bartender show up with, the RPG, I like it. <laughs> if you show up with, you know, some tea or a soda that you're drinking, or like some water, like Steve gave me at the at the floor, so that you know, so that I wasn't drinking beer on the floor. You right, because you can't have alcohol on the floor. No alcohol no, on the floor. No, no, I brought you no. vitamin water. No alcohol vitamin on water. the floor. No alcohol. No alcohol. <laughs> None. <laughs> None. That. Got to take. Go None. take those bottles and take them right get, get, back. Get that out of here. Get that out of here. No alcohol on the floor. <laughs> God damn it! Damn it! Damn it! You know the, the screwed up thing is I didn't. I just it hadn't you, clicked with me. Like he was telling me no alcohol on the floor, and it just wasn't. I, I, no, you thought he was joking. You thought he was yeah. like, ha ha, wink wink, nudge nudge. Yeah, and he was serious. He's like, get that beer out of here. I was like, go on, but I want beer, Steve. <laughs> right. But Steve hooked me up. I owe you one, Steve. Yeah. yeah. All right. So uh, that's the final. That's the last. That's the last thought I have on TotalCon. I love it, and I can't wait to go next year. It's always a great time, and they throw the best con. If you have never been, and you can, it's not too like too far to travel for you. I would go. And I'm gonna tell you, mm -hmm. if you're a gamer, that's what this con is. It's all about gaming. They don't fuck around with comics or any of that other shit. It's game. It's all about gaming. War gaming, board gaming, role playing. Period. And it is awesome. They, nobody does it better, I think. I, I, I really have never been anywhere where the, the convention was so well ran. You show up. I mean, like, show up and our stuff, there's our badge. I go to Balticon every year and they fuck my badge up every year. Every, every year. How many years? Every. I don't know how many. I don't know how many. <laughs> but, um, but, no, they, they do a great job at TotalCon. Um, one thing I will say for my experience was actually based on uh, on Andy. Uh, she came back from the GM's seminar going, I have all the ideas. I want to run all the games. And I was like, yes, this is exactly what that what that was for. And I'm so excited that I can't wait to hear about those stories. So. My cool. Oh. Yeah, there's a lot of people talking about the bar in the, in the chat room. Yeah, it was a, <laughs> the, 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 the restaurant in general was subpar this year, and it was yes. unfortunate. It's not always like that, but, you know, yeah. it's unfortunate. Uh, it's hard to tell whether it's better or worse than Pike's Peak, because Pike's Peak was a pain in the ass, too. Remember that? To yeah, but Tori had some, had some ignorant interaction she was telling me about. I'm sorry about that. 
Oh well, what you gonna do? All right, everybody, let's uh, uh, let's do. Yeah, Mike, you ready for uh, ready for the game? I am. I am. I am. I. Am. So we do have a game tonight. Mm. Unfortunately, we have um, we have three players. This will be fun. Um, so Mike, I'm on you oh, okay. if you're ready. Yes. Oh wait, no, hold on. We no, can't do no. that. No, don't do it. Because Steve. What? You you run Nerd Rage News. You can see Nerd Rage News. You can see all the stuff that he does from Nerd Rage News at nerdrageNews.com. Um, there is a link to your IMDb channel in the show notes. I'm not going to read it because it's a bunch of letters and numbers and stuff. Yeah, it's a bunch um, of nonsense. <laughs> and get so his funny. book. Get his book. Get his book. Have you read that, Spence? Have you read it yet? I started it. Uh, is it okay. any good? I'm I started it. <laughs> the fact that I opened a physical book and haven't haven't done an audio book, uh, I'm very excited about this. So. Okay, Excellent. it is up on Audible. Oh, good. So that's going on my wish list, and then I don't have to physically read it. Right, there you go. Nobody likes to physically read it. All right, so Spence, Spence has ResonantMoon.com. That's right. Uh, and you can catch her at GameSchool.TSRPN.com. Mm -hmm. uh, and Spence, anywhere else? Anything else? nostalgiapilots.com excellent 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 all right mike i bought you a little time you ready to play the game born ready bro born ready all right here you go all right everybody welcome to game time with the mythwits i am your game master michael capus and today we are going to play apologizes for apologizes for what the hell could that be well let me explain it to you i will read for you the headline of a recent news article in which i have blanked out some of the words your job will be to attempt to pick out the correct or most accurate meanings or missing words from the headline every contestant will have an opportunity to hazard a guess each round however we will rotate who goes first if no contestant guesses the exact number, I will feed the wrong answers into the handy dandy machiny do bobber, and it will pick the closest answer using science. If you are <laughs> sure of your answer, I urge you to hide your enthusiasm in hopes of throwing off your fellow competitors. However, your creativity should know no bounds. And when giving your answers, does everyone understand? No. Kind of. No, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> Let's have a practice round because I knew that answer would come up. <laughs> Here's your example of a news item, okay? Uh, you know what, uh, Steve? This is you're, you're going first in this case, okay? Okay. Peter Bryant apologizes for forcing his blank blank down everyone's throat at TotalCon. <laughs> Oh, and I'm supposed so, to guess what it is he you're was supposed to guess throat. what is this news item about Steve hmm. I mean Peter Bryant apologizes for forcing his blank blank down everyone's and, throat at and, am I supposed to give a serious answer or just hey, whatever comes to mind we're in a training exercise right now so you can <laughs> you can go off the rails if you'd like uh you know I think all the kids are uh, in bed now. It's 9.50. Come on. What you got? Mm, well, you know, he's always had a fetish for chickens. I want to say that it was a chicken with a shanker on its pecker. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know what? <laughs> it, you know, this is almost like a double answer. Like, you, he could, and I think, in fact, did do that. However, <laughs> in this case, Peter Bryan apologizes for forcing his scrapple vodka down everyone's throat at TotalCon. Except Very I, good. I so, in, in essence, guys, this my is, answer was better. Okay, your answer was. <laughs> yes, it was. So, in, in essence, so that, that is, this is exactly what we're doing. We are um, throwing uh, news items, and I'm taking the blanks, putting some blanks in, and uh, you're going to have to fill in the blanks. Okay. Kay. Here we go. Uh, ladies first, Spence. You have the first one. Okay. Terry Crews apologizes for calling kids of blank blank parents severely malnourished. Of blank blank parents? Uh, yeah. Terry Crews is an angel, so uh, of uh, Trump supporting parents. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh. Okay. I, I, I like that. That's 
it's that's... probably not accurate, and I apologize. Hey, do, no, no, no. This is this game is apologizes for. You may not get okay. meta. Okay. So, uh, okay. Um, we'll go to Steve next. Uh, mm. Steve. Terry Crews. Now let's think. What kind of man is he going to be? I'm going to have to go with Hispanic mothers. Okay. All right. <laughs> Terry Crews apologizes for calling kids of Hispanic mothers' parents severely malnourished. <laughs> but that'll work on, on some level. Uh, and Spence, you said again what? A Trump supporter parents. Trump supporters parents. Okay. Uh, and uh, Peter? Uh, I'm going to say... I'm going to say poor black parents. Poor black parents, severely malnourished. Wow, I don't PJ. think I like this game. <laughs> well, no, no, I'm not, no I, I don't know what he said. I'm just trying to guess what he might have said. He apologized I for it. I know. I know. Uh, no, I know. Okay. All right. So poor black I'm not, parents. I'm just saying if you had to apologize okay. for something, that would be something that I think somebody should have to okay. apologize for. Right? I mean, everybody, everybody went for a minority. Uh, hold on. Uh, not well, not no one. Uh, well, that's well. Yeah, okay. Maybe it's my right, anyway, go ahead, go ahead, Mike. Go ahead, sorry. Well, going, all right. Going. So I'm gonna have to feed all these wrong answers into the uh, um, discombobulator. Hold on. And I'm gonna have to say that Peter, you actually get the point. Uh, wow. It's actually Terry Crews apologizes for calling kids of same-sex parents severely malnourished. Ah. Okay. Okay. So, uh, okay. yeah. Wow. That, that, that happened. Oh, that uh, happened. Terry. Jesus. Terry. Terry. Yeah. Hey, we were all, Come on, bud. We yeah. were all close. We all chose a different minority group. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we'll move on to Spence next. Um, Pete got the point. All right. Could you, you can keep that. Thank you, Pete. Um, all right, Peter. Uh, no, that was Spence going first. Steve, Steve goes first now. Right. Okay. Steve's on first. Mart Mar <laughs> Martina Navratilova apologizes Ooh. for calling blank athletes cheats. Martina Navratilova apologizes for calling blank athletes cheats. So, uh, Steve, huh. I don't even know who that is. It's a famous tennis player. It's a famous tennis player. Okay, that is that a hint? No, that's a fact. <laughs> it's just a, a fact. Uh, uh, re repeat, this, repeat it again. Okay. I'm even going to throw in a little extra lines for you here. Martina Navratilova, comma, a famous tennis player, comma, apologizes <laughs> for calling blank athletes cheats. I'm going to go with Russian. Russian. Okay. All right. So she you think know. she's, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, let's see. We go to Peter. All right. Look, don't hate on me. I didn't say this. I, I. This is something somebody's apologizing for. Right. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. She said transgender. You're not saying it. Okay. All right. That's fine. I mean, the, the, look. There are no wrong answers. There are only more right answers than right. other right or answer so uh spence what do you what you, what you got i'm gonna say male uh male players okay <laughs> you know what they're the big cheats yeah. <laughs> you know what she wouldn't have to apologize for that spence she'd be right <laughs> uh, yeah. okay all right well um gosh you know what uh I don't even have to go to the um, machine and do bobber because uh, one of you got this answer correct. <coughs> and that one would be Peter. Nice. You went for the low hanging trans and it paid off. <laughs> no, I didn't. Look, I used. Uh, hey, I hold on, hold on. I used logic because yes. if somebody's going to say somebody was cheating and had to apologize for it, I figured they probably fucked up and said that. Martina Navratilova. May have apologized. Uh, may have apologized for using the term cheating when describing transgender athletes, but the issue uh, received further attention over the weekend with former UK Olympic swimmer Sharon Davies saying trans women had unfair physical advantages. Uh, so uh, you know these are legitimate concerns on certain people's behalf. Uh, you know I'm not 
we're not gonna we're gonna gonna get into that. Uh, yeah, let's move on. <laughs> Mar Mar Next. Martina Navratilova. I thought her name was Martin Navratilova myself. So, moving on. Um, Pete, you uh, you're going next. Um, number okay. three. <clears throat> American Airlines apologizes for booting a mother and baby with a blank blank condition. Oh, uh, mm. mother and baby with a blank gave her the boot. Um, so you are no longer welcome on this plane. So, wait, so the mother and the baby had this condition. Yes, get off the plane, girl. Um, we don't want you here. A blank, blank, blank condition. Blank condition. Uh, I, dude, I don't know. High temperature. Oh, <laughs> you don't like your high temperature condition. Uh, Spence. Um, I am gonna say, uh, they, I don't know how to say it correctly, but it's like they they can't hear. Uh, like, that would be they, that they're deaf. They're deaf. Yeah. Or hearing yeah. impaired, if you want to hearing use impaired can right. hearing impairment yes. condition. That's what I was nice. trying to fit it in. The That's fine. Thing. Hearing impaired condition. I'll I'll let that slide. Although I will just say, just as a little uh, aside, as I'm a sound language interpreter. I, it's, it's, it's I okay understand to, this. It's okay to say that. I was trying to fit it in the blank blank condition. Yeah, do blanks. The blank blank. Yeah. That's why. And I was yeah. doing the blank blank. A deafity deaf condition. Okay. Right. And and Steve. Just well, not I'm going to go with the leprosy, man. So it's going to be a bad skin condition. Ooh, oh, wow. Bad skin condition. I mean, that is some bad skin condition if you got leprosy. I mean, yes, there are stuff that's well, sloughing off, all right. It's going to be yeah, like okay. a bad gas or something. Terrible yeah, gas. Right. <laughs> all right. And <laughs> sharding. Mm, stop it. Uh... <laughs> One person is correct, and that is Steve. American Airlines apologizes for booting a mother and baby with a dry skin condition. Are you serious? Oh my God. I have never been so humiliated in my life. Now, hold on. Get you know what the lady off his plane, bitch. Guess what the lady's last name is. Oh God, I don't know what. Uh, you can't make this shit up. Psoriasis? Flake. Flake. Oh no. Nice. Nice. Oh no, that poor lady. Who had a rare skin condition <laughs> called uh, ichthyosis. So, I mean, even even the name of this skin condition sounds worse than it is. It's a, it's a very dry skin. It's like it's like eczema to like the, you know, she, she look. Are you okay, Pete? You all right, buddy? It's so ironic. It's awesome. I know. I know. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, uh, yeah, Stephen, congratulations. Uh, you get the point for. Ichthyosis. No, leprosy. Oh, or okay. Well, again, close enough. <laughs> um. Uh. No, we're at. Uh, where are we at? I'm first. Spence. First. Okay. Yes. All right. Burberry apologizes for a blank like blank on a fashion hoodie. Ooh. Oh! Oh! I know this one. I okay, know this good, one. Okay, good, good. Thanks for following the directions. Thanks for just not, you know, blurting out that you know it. I so, don't um... care. Because <laughs> I'm excited. I will actually get a fucking point. Uh, I can curse on this show, right? right. Yes. No. Yeah. Um, too bad. Uh, so it is a noose-like necklace. A noose-like necklace. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'd like to point out that if somebody thinks that they can get it even closer than a noose-like necklace... Uh, they may get the point. She may have, uh, you know, um, just had a little Icarus uh, motherfucker flying too close to the sun moment. Just saying, maybe. So uh, we'll go to uh, Steve next. Um, well. Uh. Burberry apologizes uh, for a blank like blank on fashion hoodie. Hmm. I'm I'm gonna go with like a KKK noose. Uh, <laughs> I I uh, Pete, <laughs> Pete, you're next. All right, give me the say sense again. I just want to match the blanks in. Sure. Burberry apologizes for a blank like blank on fashion hoodie. Now keep in mind, Spence said a noose like. What was that? A noose-like... Noose-like necklace. Necklace. 
Shit, I know there was one fashion company that had like they had the sweater that it folded up and it was like black face. It had like lipstick on it, and that's what I'm thinking. But um, I'm gonna say yeah, black face like collar, or okay, like I don't know. You're right thinking collar. of the shoe. No, no, no. There's, no, there's a there's a sweater it, thing. Yeah, it was. Yeah, like a, I almost used that one. Thing. Yeah. It was another fashion uh, oh. faux pas. Yeah, so, big time uh, faux pas. Holy yeah. shit. Spence, you do get the point. However, uh, in in this particular, I'm just saying in this particular article, it was Burberry apologizes for a noose like knot okay. uh, on fashion hoodie, but the top officers of fashion giant Burberry apologized for clothing a model in a hoodie with a cord knotted in the shape of a noose. At the company's it was supposed London to fashion. be nautical themed. That yeah. is correct. Yep, that is correct. So they all right. should have done a monkey fist. Just saying. Yes, I don't think they'd be apologizing for that. The monkey minivan. Anyway. <laughs> um, I thought they looked like lynching jackets. All right, Steve. <laughs> oh, what a coincidence. <laughs> what a great segue to you being next. Uh, <laughs> my God. Is it the BB? Or is, is, it, is it hot in here? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Just No. Whew. No more. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> here we go, Steve. Oh, okay. you, you would be the one to get this one, too. I swear to God. Oh, boy. All right, here we go. This one is great, guys. Uh, lawyer for Cardinal convicted of molesting choir boys apologizes for calling crime, quote, a blank, blank sexual penetration. Let me say that one more time, because... It's it's difficult to wrap your <clears throat> head around all that. A lawyer that was defending a cardinal who was convicted of molesting choir boys, finished, past tense, he apologized for calling the crime a blank, blank sexual penetration. Oh, my God. I, I can think of so many horrible, horrible things to well, use here. just pick one and let's move oh, on. Oh, well, I'm, I'm If you could which... avoid any racist ones, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, God. This is too rich. Come on, man. Are you killing me here? Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I lost it. it I, I don't write these, okay? This is the news, my friend. <laughs> Come on. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Lawyer, lawyer of a cardinal. Re repeat the sentence to me just okay. so I get it right. Lawyer of a cardinal convicted of molesting choir boys apologizes uh -huh. for calling the crime a blank, blank sexual penetration. Plain vanilla. You son of a. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one that's not racist yeah no no it's not um uh, uh peter um a uh a, a uh <laughs> <laughs> understandable confusion <laughs> An understandable confusion of sexual penetration. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Not really sure that he, you know. It's it slipped. It, it was slipped. A, mis uh, a mistake. In the room. Right. It's a, a mistake. A case Whoops. of mistaken sexual penetration. <laughs> right. Whoopsie you know daisies. What? Wow, I, wow. I, no, I didn't have a good fun. answer, so I just went with something crude. Sorry. Hey, no, no, that's actually good. Spence? There's no way we're recovering from any of this, but please. <laughs> divine, show. divine intervention. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> good, good. good. Um, I'm going to hell. <laughs> so, all right. So, Steve, if you do not give our seer answers next time in five seconds or less, you don't get anything, because I don't trust that you just get plain, <laughs> plain vanilla like that. Fair but, enough. But uh, yes, in fact, lawyer for Cardinal convicted of molesting choir boys apologizes for calling the crime a plain vanilla sexual penetration. What? <laughs> what? It's just plain vanilla. What? 
It's not like you gave him a minivan. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. What? You guys so, know what a minivan uh, is, right? I don't want to know. Like, you know, you got the... You I got, don't... I said the... I don't want to know. <laughs> but it's really Peter. funny. It's really funny. Mm, 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 All right, I'll, I'll tell mm, it on the next show. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Go ahead. All right, play okay. vanilla. <laughs> All right. Vanilla. Okay. Uh, Steve, the, had you heard the, that story? Yeah, we actually had a conversation about it earlier today in the store. Okay. All right. All right. So who's next? Uh, who knows? Uh, Spence. You are. I don't Pete. know. Spence. Pete. Oh, Pete, Pete is? is next. Okay. okay. Yeah, Pete. Is. Okay. Airline apologizes for losing blank. Uh, altitude. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you didn't give me a whole lot to go on there. <laughs> I gave you a blank slate. You could have made happy little trees. You could have done whatever. It's either that or virginity, but I'm going to say, <laughs> I got to say altitude. Okay. All right. Uh, Spence. A child. A child. <gasps> Oh, that's, yeah, that's just, a good answer. That I, would be that would be wrong. I have been I have been an unaccompanied minor many many times. So, mm, so you just Ooh. you just had red flags. You, you this was a trigger. I, I apologize. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, Steve, let's uh, have pet. your answer. What? Pet apologizes for losing a pet. Uh, but but that pet cannot be a child because it was in fact a child. <laughs> Hawaiian Airlines apologized <laughs> for is and issued refunds and travel vouchers to a family after losing track of their seven-year-old child. It's home alone. Nice. <laughs> wow. Fortunately, alone, a terrorist attempt was swa was was stopped by that child in the cargo hold. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> All right. Using a series of fantastical traps and. <laughs> <laughs> Including paint cans, tarantulas. Someone's pet. <laughs> All right. Uh, Peter, Another child. Peter, tied you're... to a string. What? Uh, what is the score right now? Oh, wow. It's two across it's the board. It's all tied up. Okay, so this actually will be the tiebreaker. We don't have to actually use the actual tiebreaker. So Fantastic. good, because this is the last one. Good. So, Pete, Peter. <laughs> yes. Bryant, Bryant University. Yes. 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 Nice. I don't own uh, it. I have nothing to do with it. Ap I hope not. <laughs> Apologizes for mishandling of blank incident. Uh, Mike, that's going to be mishandling of the shart incident. It's pretty famous. Um, someone was on stage, famous person, might have been, you know, I'm not going to name names, Tyson. <laughs> uh, but there was a shart and uh, they mishandled it. Yeah. Now, was so that a, a uh, was that a, a shart con three or a shart con four? Right. Oh, that's a discussion that we're gonna have at a later time. No, okay. if they okay. mishandled that, that had to have been a shark con too. Shark okay. Con All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Spence, Bright University apologizes for mishandling of blank incident. Uh. God. Um. I don't know your mom. <laughs> oh, dude, oh. your mama. Mama Your Marsh mom? wasn't even in the room tonight. I'm sorry, I'm no. sorry. That's not even that's I drew a blank. That's awesome. Wow. I love you, Mama Marsh. Please don't hate me. Your mom. Wow. Well, shit, well awesome. I mean, if they mishandled my mom, <laughs> she can take up for herself. Right. She might All like right, it. Steve. Uh, I, the, uh, you had plenty go... of time. You you had plenty of time to look up the answer. So what what do you got? I'm going to go with a conservative talk guy. <laughs> we lost a conservative talk host. <laughs> yeah, that's the right word. University apologizes for the mishandling of a conservative talk, talk guy. host. Yeah, talk yeah. Host. Okay. Not like, like host. Oh, so right. somebody like uh, so somebody like like uh, uh, what's his name? Um. It's, uh... Rush yeah, Limbaugh or somebody came or out something to like talk that. Yeah. or whatever. Okay. I don't yeah. know. Who, I could see that. Okay. Okay. That's actually, Steve, that's actually a real answer. <laughs> Mine was yeah. not a real answer. Yeah, that was right. a real answer. Okay. Uh, so there's my mom, <laughs> there's a conservative <laughs> talk host, or and the shart uh, a shart incident. 
Well, I, I would, you know, I would have chose a racial thing, but I was told I wasn't allowed to do that. <laughs> I will point that out. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I, I, I know. Say that. Steve. Steve, shut up. The 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 <laughs> the, 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 uh, the computer do bobber. The machine do bobber needs needs a moment because I have to feed all these answers in. Okay. Uh, give me one sec. Boy, we need a sound effect uh, for this. God damn it. Well, did, did he win? Steve gets the point. God Yay! Damn it. So what was it? <laughs> Bryant University apologizes for mishandling of racial incident. Oh, oh okay. Yes. I wasn't allowed right. to pick that answer. No, you were not. <laughs> How ironic is that, Steven? <laughs> All right, hold on. Let's, so so what the, the score is, I got two, Spence got two, Steve, you got three, which gives you this. Yes. You win, hope... Steve. Here's your prize. Yes, yeah, here's you your prize, Steve. Enjoy it. <laughs> Cheating is... Mother blanker. <laughs> no, I did good. I did good. Yeah. That was a real answer. That last one was a real answer. I I, yes, I drew dude. dude, I drew a blank. I had no idea what the uh, fuck. I yeah, see what you did there. I yes. was gonna say like harassment, but then uh I blanked. So right. well that would have been the next one actually. The tiebreaker was NIH apologizes for its failure to address sexual harassment in science. Yes, the NIH, ladies and gentlemen. But anyway. <laughs> Paul Nunn said it was a plain vanilla shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know those existed. Scott Pond said a racial vanilla shirt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I love, yeah. I love our people. Oh, my oh, God. It's so good. Mom, All right. I miss my mommy. B before I go. Before I miss go, your mom, too. Oh, shut up, you. Before we go. Before we go. <laughs> Dark Phoenix is starting their own convention. Dark Phoenix Game Con coming in spring of 2020. Yes. Keep an eye out for it. Uh, they're going to start small because new con. Uh, nice little intimate thing over a weekend, I believe. Uh, and in the New England more, area. more information to come. We will be having Dark Phoenix in uh, about a month, month and a half. We'll be having them on the show. So uh, stay right, cool. tuned for more cool information games. about it. All right, <clears throat> unless anybody else has got anything else to do, we have run very long. Let's wrap this puppy up. I got one last thing. Yes, Go sir. Go to my Amazon site. Look at my uh, books. Oh, yeah. Go to, uh, what, what, did, what did it look up, Steve? Nerd Rage Just News? Just look my name up. Steve Wallet, no. okay. Yeah, no, no, no. Steve Wallet on Amazon. Dr. Stephen Wallet. Well, I am listed as a doctor on yes, some of them. Yes, 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 you are. <laughs> That's fine. Yes, That's fine. and and make sure you check out. I am out a doctor of Dudism, by the way. Doctor of Dudism. Yes, I saw the card. No, I saw your your <laughs> your priest of Dudism. Yes, and now I have my doctorate in Dudism. Nice, oh, fantastic, dear. That's fantastic. All right, uh, and check them out on Amazon Prime. Uh, Word from a gamer is on there. If you have Amazon Prime, you can watch it for free. All right, everybody, let's do this. Uh, you've just enjoyed another awesome episode of the Mythwits. If you don't have time for videos, make sure to subscribe to our podcast via your favorite podcatcher. Do the like, follow, subscribe thing wherever it's appropriate. And make sure to share your favorite episode on social media to help spread Mythwits love over the entire planet. And tell people about TotalCon. Tweet us at Mythwits and check out Mythwits.com. Mythwits is produced by Aetherforge Creations as part of the TSR Podcast Network. Check out TSRPN.com and Aetherforge.com for more cool stuff. Uh, a lot of cool stuff coming down the road real soon. Mythwits is a Creative Commons product. Like and share it in all the places. Just don't edit it. Don't sell it. And don't use it to defend yourself against a choke bot. Right, Spence? Thanks, everybody, for listening. Tell your friends to tune in. And until next week, Mike? Michael Kafis apologizes for this pile of blank. Oh, God. <laughs>